For more on this story in the 49ers, we welcome in NFL insider Field Yates. So that's all the off the field stuff, but let's talk about the performance on the field and where does that leave Kaepernick and the 49ers going forward? It seems impossible to separate the on field performance, Jamie, from tomorrow at 4 p.m. Teams do need to get down to 53 players. That means there's going to be hundreds of transactions taking place. What are some various ways that teams can use to make those cuts and get down to that? Only uh, the NFL preseason coming to an end last night. But before we turn our attention to week one, there's still some great moments from the final night of the preseason to get to Serena Morales here with those. Uh, due to Tom Brady's four-game suspension, the Patriots QB can't really give a lot to his team. But that doesn't mean he can't give it all. He actually got to do that, right? Right. But there was no smoke there, but still, you got to pick so good. Yes. Well done. Absolutely. Serena, good pick. Yeah. <laughs> Picking. We're not done. You think oh. you're done with the segment. Not done just yet. Okay. That was not even my <laughs> best. He comes out from the smoke. That's right. My best pick. We need pick. a smoke machine right the there. The smoke machine's broken. Uh, best pick of the night. This from our own Scott Van Pelt last night on his show. This is my top pick. Ah. Uh, no, I'm one of the dopes. <laughs> I'm one of the dopes he's talking about. I'll be on Northwestern. Listen, the only thing that would have made it better if he had done that in his Baltimore or Maryland accent and, that he does with Tim and Kirchin. And Tim Kirchin was also there. And, well, he, and he's true. laughing and, and Tim, Tim Kirchin's Kirchin laughing the entire time. is at the head of the boat, like Washington crossing the Delaware. <laughs> and he and Van Pelt's back. Row the boat! You know? Bitch admitted, this is as nutty as we think it is. He's never had this situation in his entire 14-year career. Barely played any tennis, and into the fourth round he goes. The world number one beat his first opponent in four sets. Then a second round walkover didn't play at all. And Friday, Mikhail Yuzny came into the match with a bum hammy, so that trend continues. College football is here. 35-yard rushing touchdown. And with that, Christian McCaffrey already tied his season high from a year ago. Had one of those bad boys in his runner-up Heisman campaign as a sophomore. Oh yeah, we are off and running this college football season. So good to have it back. Many are calling it the best opening college football weekend we've ever had. I'm calling it that simply because college football is finally back. Kaylee Hartung, get us started. LSU looking to win its 14th straight season opener in the first major college game ever played at Lambeau Field. Football, a welcome distraction from the reality of daily life in Baton Rouge, where tragedy has ravaged the area all summer long. The Tiger is hoping to give their neighbors something to cheer about. 30,000 Tiger fans expected to pack Lambeau Saturday, cheering on their boys in a game with significance far beyond football. Les Miles spoke with our Marty Smith about his team's influence on the area in the surrounding of what's been going on there this summer. We got a glimpse of the Vikings' brand new billion dollar stadium during the preseason, and the hype matches the reality of this place. Excitement at an all time high in Minnesota until last week. They lost their starting quarterback, Teddy Bridgewater, to a season ending knee injury. Now, just three days until the Denver Broncos Super Bowl title defense starts, their starting quarterback, Trevor Simeon, he will be the first starting quarterback for a defending champ who's never thrown a regular season pass. Let that sink in right there. However, he did have that kneel down game in Pittsburgh, if you recall last season, but that's about it. A guy that's replacing future Hall of Famer Peyton Manning, pretty much unknown. So I don't know how you feel about it, but summer to me has just flown by. Wasn't it just last week we watched a, shirt, a shirtless J.R. Smith celebrating with the city of Cleveland after bringing home their first NBA title? Nationals get the win, even while most of those guys are getting a rest. Have you ever come across a story posted on Facebook and there's like a little warning next to it that says, this photo could make you cry? Well, I usually ignore that. I read it and then I cry. <laughs> this post got me last week. It looks like two people sitting at lunch, right? But there's more to this. This is Florida State's Travis Rudolph. And this is Bo Paskey of Monford Middle School in Tallahassee.